Hey volunteers, thanks for uh, helping out with the snack bar. This year we have a cotton candy machine, which is gonna be a new addition. Um, it's gonna stay right here next to the popcorn machine. It can be made outside if you want. Um, you're gonna have to use the extension cord down over here, and you're gonna have to use a table that's by the kitchen sink. But for now, I'm gonna give you instructions on how to use it while it's over here. First, before we begin, I want you to take notice of all the different supplies. We have the box with the cotton candy sticks, the sugar, and a scooper. When we begin, we need to make sure that the popcorn or the uh, cotton candy machine is plugged in. I'm gonna plug it in over here next to the popcorn machine. You're gonna hit the two buttons, turn on. It's gonna take about three minutes to warm up. Okay, after about three minutes, the cotton candy machine is warmed up. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take whichever flavor that has been ordered. In this case, we'll use cherry. And we're gonna pour the cherry into this two tablespoon scoop. If we don't have a scoop, you could just eyeball it and pour it directly into the machine. But for now, you'll see that I'm holding the scoop over this Tupperware to catch the sugar. Okay, one scoop here is one whole serving. Now warning, as soon as you pour this in the cotton candy machine, you're gonna have to get ready to twirl because the sugar is gonna start flying. Okay? See the hole? Throw it in, okay? Start twirling the stick as you're moving back and forth. Okay, back and forth, there's different techniques. Some people like to go around the sides. I simply just go ahead and stay here because that's what I'm most familiar with. And you're gonna keep twirling until you think the candy is not flying anymore. About a minute and you'll be done. So here we go. To me, this looks about done. You might have some flying around, but you're able to take this and serve it to the customer. Go ahead and take the machine. You can turn it off if there's no other orders or you can keep making them if you have more than one order. Next, we'll show you how to clean up. Okay, so once you have this turned off and it's been a few minutes for it to cool down, we need to head, go ahead and clean the inside because it's gonna look like this. But it's really easy to do. We're just gonna take it over to the sink and rinse it out with hot water. But here's how you have to remove the lid. You're gonna go ahead and see these latches. There's four of them, two on each side. it off, walk it over here, Just go ahead and turn on the hot water, rotate it around, I'm going to go ahead and line up the, the latches. Oops. 
Okay, once you put the lid on, you're gonna go ahead and latch as so. And if it gives you fits, just go ahead and leave it and we'll take care of it the next morning. Thanks a lot for using this machine.